Hello, my name is Anna Gonzalez, Director of Community Affairs for School District 129. The purpose of this video is to share with you some of the highlights of our new website, which will be live on Wednesday, June 26th. We've decided to partner with a company named Final Sight to develop that website, which features a bold, clean design. We believe that our website is a window into our district, so we want for it to represent us well. We also want to make it very easy to use. So we believe we've made some positive changes. Let's take a look. This is our new district homepage. You might notice that there's only one place to start if you're looking for information. This information is located in the upper right hand corner and is catered to the different types of users on our website. So we have a tab for parents, for our students, for our community members, and right above that for our staff. Also at the very top, there's a drop down menu that will take you to each of the individual websites for our buildings. I like to walk you through one as an example. I'm gonna select West Aurora High School. And the very first thing that you might notice is the capability for us to hold a video in the banner. This is the parade of graduates at Freeman Elementary School earlier this year. It's a much more engaging way to, to interact with our community. Below that, we have our upcoming events at West Aurora High School. We have a few that are highlighted. And if you follow the more events link, we would take you to our calendar. Then we have in the news, which highlights our students, some of their involvements and accolades. We also have a way that you can subscribe right there to our weekly newsletter. The next section is called by the numbers. These are some of our brag statistics. Things like, did you know that West Aurora High School has 68 clubs and activities? The end of the webpage has a stay connected section. This hosts our most recent social media posts. I'd like to take you back up to the top and point out a couple of different things for parents. So if I were a parent and I wanted to become involved at my child's school, I might start at the parent tab and select volunteer. To follow that link, it explains what the procedures are for me to register to volunteer. And I can even follow this link to start the process. There are also links to things like parent portal information. As you might be aware, we have two parent portals that we use in West Aurora School District 129. We have links to those websites, information, registration help guides, and even a staff member who can give you some extra support. So in conclusion, on June 26, we hope you will find a more engaging and informative website. Thanks for listening.